In this video, I am going to discuss about first order linear differential equations. Let's start off with the general structure of the first order differential equations. So dy over dt is equal to f of t comma y is the most general format for representing the first order differential equation where the function on the right hand side has two variables. t is the independent variable is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable which depends on t. So y is equal to y of t. However, there is a special format of the first order differential equation which is this dy over dt plus p of t times y is equal to g of t. It's called the first order linear differential equation. Now, if you look at this differential equation, um, there is a special technique that we can use to solve this type of differential equations. There is an interesting thing to note here. Look at the left-hand side of this equation. So left-hand side, which would be this. Uh, you have a y here and derivative of y here. This kind of looks like the product rule or somewhat in a sort of intuitive way you could think of it as kind of product rule like remember d over dt u v is equal to u times derivative of v with respect to t plus v times derivative of u with respect to t so if you look at the left side that kind of resemble like that. However, uh, in a way, could we think of a function? So somebody who invented this kind of was probably thinking along this way. Could we think of a function that we could multiply this equation by so that the left-hand side becomes the derivative of a product? So that would be some function. Let's call it mu of t, okay? Let's assume that some function uh, mu of t exists, okay? And if we multiply both sides of this equation by mu of t, it's going to be a derivative with respect to t of mu and y, or mu of t and y of t. So that's kind of like the assumption. So we are making a making an assumption here and then we are trying to kind of come up with a solution. So let's go ahead and uh, write it out. So if we multiply by mu of t, this is what we get. So I just multiplied both sides of this equation by mu of t. Now our assumption is that this left hand side should be equal to this. That is to say, so left hand side, that means this should be equal to this. So by using the product rule for derivative, if we write it, this out, we are going to get the following. Now, we are going to compare this with that. So that means, according to our assumption, these two things should be equal. So let me go ahead and write it out. If we write it out, this is what we get. Now, look, if we compare this sides of the equation so we have mu of t dy over dt this and mu of t dy over dt you could subtract it from both sides they would cancel each other out once again remember what we have done here is this we have we have assumed that this left hand side is equal to this right hand side according to our assumption now we can go ahead and simplify things a little further and after, upon simplification, this is what we are going to get. Now, look at this expression or equation. This is what we got uh, after simplifying this. So we have this on the left and this on the right. Now, on the left, we have y, okay? And on the right, we have y. So we can go ahead and divide both sides of this equation by y. We are assuming that y is not zero. Then on the left, we get mu of t, p of t is equal to d mu over dt, 
which by the way is equivalent to writing d mu over dt so i go from here to there is equal to mu of t p of t now i can rewrite it so i could rewrite it as d mu over mu of t i'll just write mu okay is equal to p of t dt at this point i can integrate both sides of this equation okay now if i integrate the left hand side with respect to mu and the right hand side with respect to t what i am gonna get is this ln of mu on the left so it's gonna be ln of mu is equal to integral p of t dt now what is p of t we don't know right it is just a function now to solve this for mu we can take the exponential of both sides so it's going to be exp of ln of mu is equal to exp of integral p of t dt now exponential function and natural log they are inverses of each other you probably do remember it from your algebra course so they will cancel each other out leaving you behind with mu or mu of t is equal to exp of that thing integral p of t dt is nothing but e to the power integral p of t dt now this mu is equal to e to the power integral p of t dt is the desired function okay now if we take this function so let's put it in a box if we take this function and multiply this equation by this mu then we will get what we wanted that means the left hand side is gonna be the derivative of the product of mu and y and this by the way has a special name we call it the integrating factor integrating factor now this basically boils down to the fact that can you evaluate this integral okay integral p of t dt can you evaluate this uh, there are problems for which it is easy to integral the uh, find this integral and easy to find the mu and there are problems where it might be a little bit more difficult to find the integral or evaluate the integral so we will be solving problems by using integrating factor now this is in this video i have shown you how to derive or how to theoretically find this integrating factor or that desired function mu of t that is going to make the left hand side of this first order linear differential equation into a derivative of the product of that function mu times y i hope that this discussion was helpful thank you very much